My name's Jana, and welcome to Wombaland Online. We are so excited that you're here today because today we have an amazing Bible story just for you. But before we get to that Bible story, I was thinking we could have some fun. Raise your hand if you want to have fun. Raise two hands if you want to have fun. Hey, when I raised one hand and then the other hand, it was kind of like I was dancing. Why don't we have a dance party? <gasps> but let's not have just any dance party. Let's have a freeze dance party. Okay, for any good dance party, we need dancing shoes. Reach in your back pocket and get out your dancing shoes. You got them? I got mine. Mine are sparkly with red racing stripes. What do your shoes look like? Ooh, they look like some good dancing shoes. Okay, let's put on our dancing shoes. Oh, they feel good. Let's make sure these shoes are ready. Can you jump with me? Are your dancing shoes ready to dance? I think mine are. Okay, now we just need some music. Mr. DJ, we need some music. Oh, yes. This is sounding like good dancing music. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start dancing, and I'm gonna tell you a pose. And when the music stops, you freeze in that pose. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's start dancing. Now, we are gonna freeze in a karate pose, okay? So when that music stops, you freeze. Freeze! Did you freeze? I did too. Okay, let's do that again. Let's start dancing, okay? Here we go. Now this time, we are gonna freeze on one leg. Okay, get ready. Freeze! Oh boy, this one's a hard one. I'm getting wobbly. Whew. Okay, now we're gonna start dancing again. Okay, this time we're gonna make a silly face when the music stops. Are you ready? Be listening. Did you freeze? Those were silly faces. Okay, last time. This time, anything goes. Start dancing, and when the music stops, we're gonna do an anything goes pose. Did you freeze? That was so much fun. Those were some great poses. Now, whew, we are gonna shake out all of our freezes, okay? You got them all in there? Start shaking. Shake down here, shake over here, shake over here. Whew, that was awesome. I had so much fun with you today, but now it's time for the Bible story. So let me see your hands. All right. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. Now, here comes an amazing Bible story. Hey, boys and girls. My name is Sabrina, and I'm so excited for Easter. I know, I know, you guys are excited about the cute little bunnies and the little Easter eggs, but Easter is so much more than any of those things. It's better. It's way better. I was reading all about Easter in my favorite book of all time. Do you know what that book is? That's right, it's the Bible. The Bible is so important because it helps us to know how much God loves us. I was reading all about Easter in my Bible 
and I really want to tell you about it, but I need to take you back, way back. We should start right here at dinner. Jesus was sitting, having dinner with his disciples, and he told them that he would have to go away soon. But they didn't have to be sad because he was coming back to them in three days. That's right, three days. He told them that this would be their last dinner together, and they were really sad because their good friend had to go away. You see, there was a group of people that didn't know that Jesus was their very best friend. They didn't know that Jesus wanted to be their friend forever. These people, they didn't like Jesus. And they hurt him really, really bad. And he died. But that's not where it ends. And the rest isn't sad at all. After Jesus died, they put him inside of a tomb, which is kind of like a big cave. And it has a giant rock rolled in front of the opening so that no one could get in. When Jesus' friends came to visit the tomb, the ground started to shake. Whoa, can you guys shake with me? Whoa, whoa, that's some really shaky ground. Then an angel appeared and they were really, really scared. Can you guys make a scared face? Ooh. Yep, I bet they look just like that. But the angel told them that they didn't have to be afraid. The angel rolled that big giant rock away to show them that Jesus wasn't even in there anymore. Hey, do you guys remember how many days Jesus said would go by before he came back to them? Yeah, it was three days. Count them with me, ready? One, two, three days later, Jesus would come back just like he said he would. Wow, wow. That's the most incredible thing I've ever read. It was an amazing day. And that was the very first Easter. When Jesus was eating dinner with his friends and he told them that he would have to go away, but he would come back in three days, they didn't know everything that was gonna happen, but Jesus did. He knew that he would go away and come back and he wanted everyone to know that he loves them and wants to be their very best friend. Jesus loves us all so much, he wants to be our friend forever. That means he wants to be your friend, and your friend, and your friend. Jesus wants to be your very best friend, and Jesus is my very best friend. Let's pray together and thank God. Give me a clap. Dear God, thank you so much for Jesus, and help us remember that he's our good friend. We love you, God, amen. See. I told you, it's way better than bunnies and eggs. And the reason I'm so excited for Easter. Bye friends. Wow, that was a great Bible story. But before we go, I think we need to sing and dance to one more song. Are you ready? I can't wait. See you next time.